He clearly wanted investigators to know that he is proud of this attack that killed eight people. After waving his Miranda rights, Saifullah Saipov told investigators from his hospital bed that he was inspired by the Islamic State and that he chose Halloween for this attack because he figured there would be more people on the street and he would be able to maximize damage. Now, it also appears that he was radicalized at least one year ago because he told investigators he's been plotting this attack for the past year and only decided to use a truck within the last couple of weeks. And over the past few weeks, prosecutors said Saipov rented the exact truck that he used in this attack so that he could practice driving it. After his initial court appearance, the federal prosecutor in this case said the 29-year-old has been consuming massive amounts of ISIS propaganda. A search of cell phones found in a bag that he was carrying, a search conducted pursuant to court-authorized wiretaps, revealed thousands of ISIS-related images and 90 videos, about 90 videos depicting, among other things, ISIS fighters killing prisoners by running over them with a tank. And following his initial court appearance, his court-appointed attorney said that he hopes the public will let the judicial process play out and said how we treat him says more about us than it does about him. His next court appearance is scheduled for November 15th. So we're yeah. waiting on uh, more information on that and also about the victims. We are learning more about their lives and who they are and what they leave behind, Garrett. Yeah, eight people killed in this attack. Their lives, the lives of their families and friends forever changed. We know, we talked about yesterday, at least five of the eight killed, or five of the eight killed were five men from Argentina, childhood friends that were here in New York City to celebrate the 30th anniversary of their high school graduation. Another victim, Anne-Laurie Descartes, was a 31-year-old mother from Belgium who leaves behind two young sons, a three-year-old and a three-month-old. Two Americans were also killed in this attack. 32-year-old Darren Drake lived at home with his parents in New Jersey, where they had dinner together every night, and his father described him as the perfect son. 23-year-old Nicholas Cleves, he had just recently graduated from Skidmore College and was working for his family's website. Someone that knew him told us that he was just an incredible person that everyone liked. Twelve other people were also injured in this attack. Nine of them remain in the hospital in either serious or critical condition.